Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And guys, today we want to review Black Mirror episode Men Against Fire. And guys, I really like the story with this episode. Uh, dealt with the uh, advanced technology of the military and just a lot of topics that relate to the military overall. But also I, I, what I found very interesting was that this episode shares the title of a, a book about World War II that uh, of the same title, Men Against Fire, that talked about the problems with soldiers in World War II who didn't want to kill the opposing uh, sides of the war. And um, what they would do in some cases is fire above uh, the, so the, um, the soldiers' uh, heads in, you know, in order not to strike them because they just couldn't bring themselves to kill another human being. And this has been a an ongoing problem with the military. You know, uh, it's very difficult to take the life of another person. So the military has had to use certain uh, psychological tactics, if you will, in order to make this possible for the soldiers to engage in this. And sometimes they uh, use certain terminology uh, like uh, words like casualties, anything that can kind of disassociate, uh, you know, soldiers from killing, uh, you know, uh, other human beings. And of course, and, and what we got to see in this episode was we got to understand this technology called MAS, which had solved that. It had solved that problem. It was implanted in the brain and it would make people appear um, as they really weren't. They appear like monsters or zombies and various things like that. And that would solve the problem of, of mass. Now, you know, as we got to see our main character here, Stripes, um, in order for this to work properly, he was uh, unaware of this as all the soldiers were. And so they had to live through this mass system that could affect and change their sensory perception. Uh, it could pretty much let them see what they, what the system wanted them to see. And also, what was uh, very relatable about the technology was that it looked almost exactly like the technology that they used in the episode The Entire History of You which they use a device called the grain and the grain was a type of uh, primitive version of this if you will it it went behind the ear and it uh, could be removed although not advised forcibly <laughs> and uh, it allowed them to see uh, it was basically like a uh, a visual system that recorded everything they saw they could play back all their memories and relive it um, uh, you know, basically right in front of their face. It looked just like reality as they're seeing in, in through the world. And so it had many practical applications. And that's that kind of brings to mind for me how many military uh, uh, um, uh, technology has has been scaled down and used for in a practical sense in society. Uh like the internet, for instance, uh, the internet kind of started off as a, a way for the military to communicate it in. It kind of got uh, eventually, you know, what we have today. So I found all that very interesting. So, of course, where the story really comes alive is when Stripes starts to discover that uh, this is all a lie, that these are not monsters these are not zombies that that these are actual people and and now he has to come to terms with killing all these people and um and that's you know again going back to the book men against fire and all the problems that relate to uh war and uh soldiers coming back with ptsd trying to cope with life after having to do these various things for their country so, uh, basically, uh, what we get is this character named Arquette, and Arquette kind of runs the mass system. He's introduced to us early as a psychiatrist who deals with people who are having problems. Uh, 
you know, with killing uh, what they deem to be these roaches, which are actually human beings. And, and, and the reason that Stripes is in this counseling session is because he's been actually zapped by a device that kind of reminds me of the device we saw in Man at Black where they flash it and you kind of forget everything. But this is the device created by the uh, human beings that were uh, basically labeled the threat that were, um, that the threat was created to, um, to in order for them to get uh, stripes and other sources to see that they really are humans and that they're being lied to. Um, and I just found all oh, that so very interesting, kind of, you know, reminds me of a, a lot of the, uh, debates and a lot of the philosophical issues with war in general and the military. Should we engage in war? Is there ever a such thing as a justified war? And of course, there are many uh, views on that and uh, right. And in some cases, maybe all of them are correct and maybe some aren't. But uh, we get to touch on that in this episode. And uh, so Stripes is kind of forced to relive all of all of these, all of his all of the killings because he refuses to uh, uh, to uh, basically accept the mass system back after he's learned the truth. He doesn't want to be a murderer um and so arquette basically gives him this choice where he either free of his own will accepts the mass system or he's gonna have to relive all the actual murders he's committed now this is very much reminiscent of 15 million mirrors episode early in season one where our main character uh has to make, in a sense, an immoral choice to conform with almost an impossible uh, decision or option where it's so very much similar because in 15 Million Merits, he's forced to uh, watch uh, someone he cared about, someone he loved engage in sexual acts against uh, you know, that were initially against their will and, and, and something uh, happened where he tried to do this good thing for someone and it just turned into this nightmare. Well, we have a similar situation with Stripes here where he's uh, he tried to save these people and now he's in an impossible situation where he's forced to relive his accidental killing of them. Um and uh, with force, and in both cases, we kind of see our heroes uh, conform, right? Cave in, give up. And I think that's what's made Black Mirror such a disturbing and morally challenging and uncomfortable uh, uh, TV show. Uh, in that we have to watch our heroes face impossible odds where they can no longer be heroes, but they are. Uh, reduced to the very thing that they have fought so uh, valiantly against, right? And so that's very difficult to watch. But I really enjoyed this episode, guys. Uh, uh, I, I I don't I'm not quite ready to say it's, say it's better than San Junipero, uh, but the story I think for me the story was was probably better than San Junipero. But it was just some clever things that San Junipero did that kind of still, uh, you know pushes us up to the forefront uh and uh this episode was also very uh similar to the entire history of you which uh, uh i would say that the technology is basically based on the same technology it's kind of it, it would seem to me the entire history of you and man against fire exist in the same universe and that uh, or maybe even the same time and that um 
they're they're using this technology called the grain. They use these contact lenses with the kind of hazy eyes where they can see and record and relive incidents. But obviously the technology in the entire history of you is, uh, is very primitive compared to this. And that didn't necessarily surprise me, even if they do exist in the same uh, time or universe or what have you, in that military technology has always been uh, decades in advance of uh, of uh, what we as society uh, have received. So, found all this very interesting, guys. Really loved this episode. Uh, you know, our hero does conform. Uh, he uh, at the end we get to see him with this dream girl, that uh, or was this virtual created girl in his mind. I'm not exactly sure if she's supposed to be real or not. The house seems to be real when he what we get to see him visit at the end. But the house looks like it's kind of in disrepair, and this I'm I'm under the assumption that the girl's no longer in there. But as part of his mass reward system. It's showing him, you know, with this, uh, 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 he's going to relive the girl in this fantasy world. And that's another that's another topic about uh, fantasy and technology. When we have technology that is so comparable to real life, indistinguishable. Can, are we able to uh, live any way we want and put real life to the side? Or do we, or is there this struggle between what is real and what isn't? Or does it even matter what's real or what isn't? So find all that very interesting, guys. Uh, uh, what is real? What is your actual reality? Uh, interested in hearing some of you comments about this episode. I thought it was a great episode. Guys, if you like content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.